Unheard of budget shoes. I buy them mostly out of curiosity. If I find one that's interesting enough, I'd get myself a pair and ball in it with the occasional performance review if I feel like people should know about it. Today is one of those days. I ordered the XTEP Cloud 2, otherwise called XTEP Chishi 2 or Fearless 2, and it should be delivered soon. If this somehow intrigues you, stick around and let's talk. Welcome back, this fresh bear smash the thumbs up button. Share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. Again, I don't have the XTEP Cloud 2 just yet, but I expect the shoe to arrive first week of October. I ordered my pair from Shopee, which is an app mostly for Asia, for 2,181 pesos, which is about $40 after using some vouchers. Actual retail price is about 540 Chinese yuan or about $77, equivalent to about 4,300 pesos. The shoe is currently available in three colorways, white, black, and brown. I ordered the brown one and I can't wait to play in them. But while we wait, here's what we know so far about the brief history of the shoe. Because this is the XTEP Cloud 2, obviously there's an XTEP Cloud 1. Let me be clear, I haven't played in the first version. But here's what we know. The XTEP Cloud 1 is a mid-top silhouette that was released in 2023. There seems to be not much fancy tech in the Cloud 1. The upper uses what looks like a fused type material with a mesh window at the sides, plus a plastic midsole cage and heel counter. Then you have a standard mesh tongue with a standard lacing setup. Honestly, I have no clue what the midsole is, but it looks like standard EVA foam. For traction, the shoe uses a decoupled solid rubber outsole with a modified herringbone pattern. Now this is the XTEP Cloud 2, or at least a photo of it until I get my pair delivered. The shoe somehow reminds me of the Hyper series of Nike back in 2013 in terms of looks, including the Hyper Dunk which is one of my personal favorites. There isn't much info about the shoe, but the photos show that the upper could be synthetic with mesh sections. Lace loops are used at the lateral while punched eyelets are used on the medial. The tongue is mesh with what looks like a diagonal TPU panel on top, which is weird. Then you have a TPU heel counter that is partially ribbed. Meanwhile, the midsole could be standard EVA acting as a carrier for a softer foam in the middle. There's a TPU cage at the lower half which doubles as a bottom-loaded shank. Lastly, the outsole looks decoupled and wavy herringbone is used at the forefoot while random patterns are used at the heel. You know, I have just average expectations for the XTEP Cloud 2. It could be a decent performer at best, but I'm not anticipating anything extraordinary. But who knows, I can be wrong. The shoe could be surprisingly good or just downright awful. If you're into these types of unheard of budget shoes, stick around for my review. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the XTEP Cloud 2 and unheard of budget shoes in general. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching, peace and love to the fellow underdogs.